There are significant risks as we look at the problems we face with regard to food security, especially going forward. Some of the most complicated and some of the most extraordinary challenges that the world has faced in all of its history. Food Chain Reaction is an effort to put some of the major actors on this planet who have to deal with a global food crisis. Food Chain Reaction was really to create these scenarios based on scenarios that have happened in the past, but how do countries respond to them? We had eight teams. We had four rounds spanning from 2020 to 2030. Our real hope was that we would get players from all around the world to elevate a more global conversation among all of those different worldwide experts. The game itself created an opportunity to live into the future. It caused people to think through what the possibilities are. And in that process, I think they realized what they have to start to do today to prepare for that future. The challenges and crises that we were assigned are exactly what we expect to see in the future. So you've got famine, you've got increased pests, you've got the role of climate change in the world. It's a world where it's getting hotter and it's getting drier. We're also seeing increased social unrest because of the volatility in the food system. Food prices are going up 400%. We've got a flood of migrants coming in. The world is starting to fall apart. Everything we do is going to have some negative effect. We are going to have a pretty hard world to live in. The new normal is volatility. The world needs stronger cooperation to meet the challenges that the future will throw at it. As the momentum's build up, there's more of a sense of countries stepping up to support other countries. If that could be the new normal, it would really be a game changer. International cooperation on these kinds of issues is much more possible than people might think. The world can get it right. The simulation showed us that we really need to get ahead of the curve. Over the last couple days, we learned that alone we can't do it, but together we have all the confidence that this is a problem that we can solve.